There is no reason that Arizona football should not have one of the best offenses in college football, period. I know you got a new staff. I know you've got a, you know, uh, you got a new OC. I get all of that. Here's what you still got. You've got Noah Fafita. You have got a plethora of wide receivers. You've got a loaded offensive line, a loaded running backs unit. There's really no reason this shouldn't be one of the best offenses in college football, and it should be all season. So... Last year, we got a little frustrated because of Jaden Delora and how much Fish was just dedicated to, to that guy, right? Mm -hmm. um, I also had a frustration the first two years under Fish about one particular player that I just feel like is on the cusp of going absolutely ape you-know-what, and that's Speedy Luke. Fam. Dude, I just think... I think they're they're going to find a way to utilize him far more than the last regime did, and I'm I'm excited for that. And I think that that he could be one of the biggest difference makers on this team heading into next season because his speed is second to none. Um, he's getting better and better at carrying the ball, catching the ball out of the backfield. I think they'll put him in the slot from time to time. Like his versatility knows no bounds. And so when you're looking at the totality of this team and you're looking at guys that can complement what Fafita and T-Mac can bring to the table, he's one of those guys. Right. So I'm excited about this team because I do think that they have a lot of versatility all over the place. And, you know, I know those, the, the two stars are going to get all the limelight and they're going to get all the shine. But there's so many other valuable skill players on this team that, that are, that are going to get their opportunity to really showcase how – much of an NFL talent that they are. And this team has a lot of NFL talent. That's something that's been void of for like 10, 15 years. A long Mike. time. Oh, my I mean, goodness. Just look at the NFL draft coming up. You've got a guy in uh, Jordan Morgan. Could be a first-round pick. Jacob Cowling is going to go in the top three. Tanner McLaughlin is going to go in the top four round. It is going to be very odd. I mean, heck, it's going to be very odd even when the Cardinals are looking, saying, man, there might be guys from Arizona on their big board. It's just, it's been a long time, and uh, we got to give that, uh, got to give them a lot of credit. I am big on fam, though, as well. Uh, as Pops, if he's in here, uh, Raymond, as you know, we're big on you. But also, fam is a dude who is about, uh, first of all, he came in at about 5'8", uh, probably about 160, my uh, my playing weight. But he's not at my playing weight anymore. He's about... Is he about 210 now? No, not, no, not that. He'll never be that big. But he's about a solid 185. So he's put on about 20 plus pounds of muscle. But he's solid now. But he looks big, though. I was surprised when his dad told me that he was only like, you know, what he was. Um, and I might be getting the number wrong by a few. But yeah, I mean, that just goes to maturation. Also, here's what I, I, and I've been saying this all year. Here's what I need. 10 touches per game. I don't care how they happen. I don't care how they happen in the return game. I don't care if they happen at the receiver position, running back, you name it. I need 10 touches per game from fam. If you get 10 touches per game, I think that really stresses a defense. Absolutely. I think that's a great, that's a great number for, for Speedy Luke, because you listen, you, you need him to get touches this year. This is the year that he deserves to get some recognition. He deserves it. He deserves because, because he's been putting in the time he's been dedicated to the program. He could have easily transferred out last year. Mm -hmm. You know, he could have easily transferred out this year. Right. I think he's going to get a bona fide opportunity to, to really prove himself. Um, you know, you heard him in the press conference the other day talking about, you know, how optimistic um, you know, how optimistic he is for the season, how excited he is for the season and on um, the type of things that they're trying to put into the system uh, to really take advantage of his skill sets. I'm excited for this season. I know everybody's excited about it, but one of the things that I think I'm more excited about is the fact that we're playing in a league that is going to be very offensively dominant. Mm -hmm. and, and Arizona is going to have one of the better defenses in said league. That's why I have so much optimism about where they're going to fall uh, you know, in the in the in the pecking order of the Big 12. And to me, they're right there at the top.